Hello and welcome back to episode 11 of Eglatarian France. We're playing as France in Victoria 3 and we are going for the Caretaker Achievement. We do have the standard of living we need. We do have peasants um, in the right proportions for us. Uh, we do need to get our literacy rate higher, so hopefully we can get that up. We are down to about a little less than 30 years left, so... That is going to be a little more difficult for us. Uh, once we get destroyers, we will do that. We can go full on with um, with steamships. Uh, budget wise, we're really struggling with our budget at this point. And there's part of me that wonders if I should raise taxes solely to keep our income in a better spot. There we go. Get our income positive. That'll help us out. Wait. Who is that? Hamburg. <laughs> okay, that's hilarious. Um, so we do have plenty of buildings building. Uh, our market is... What are we struggling with? Oh, we are currently in a conflict with the natives down here, which we are taking care of fairly easily. Um, institutions... Let's go ahead and just push our colonial institution up enough. Um, that'll help us colonize the rest of this pretty quickly. Um, what else did I want to do? I was checking out our balance on materials. Yeah, we're definitely going to need to get some more oil under our belt. Um, I think the Trucial States, well, this is normally Najd, is a good spot for that. Let me get in a little closer, just so I can check. You have 49 oil spots there. That's somewhere I definitely think we want to get under our control as well. Um... We may do that after we finish up this conflict, which we just did. We're going to get Stamp Out Monarchism soon. Um, war Beneath the Waves. We need Submarines, which I can go ahead and probably just get them activated, which will give us that. Um, here, I'm going to go ahead and conquer these guys. Hopefully no one gets involved. We do have Italy to help us out as well. Our income is fluctuating quite a bit. Uh, buildings, buildings, buildings. What do we need to build? So coal is our biggest deficit right now. And I think a lot of that has to do with our current power plants. Yeah, the coal-fired power plants. Um, Can we build any more coal mines? Or are we building everything we can? I'm just going to cap those off. Because that's definitely something we're going to need to do. Uh, we're going to keep an eye on this. Um, I am considering... Maybe trying to take... Just I could just go for their whole area right there. It's not really necessary necessary though, so we'll hold off on that. Uh, porcelain budget, we're going to keep where we're at. Yeah, we're only using about half of our construction right now. We only need a little bit more lead mines. Um, electricity we are still pretty short on as well. Iron we're short on. I'll just go ahead and take care of those also. We'll just build up as much as we can. Uh, farms. We'll build up as much as we can there too and just see what that'll do for us. Um, our conflict is about to fire, so we're going to need to send in our navy. We need to recruit some admirals, huh? 
Well, let's go ahead and get ourselves... Uh, we'll go with you. And then we'll go with... Man, they're all cocaine addicts, not you. We'll go with you as well. And we can promote you a couple times. And then we're going to go ahead and have you land here with Ferdinand Foch. War Beneath the Waves has triggered Convoy Raider Popular Command. We'll let him be a popular commander, that sounds good. Uh, Budget-wise, I can go ahead and remove this tax. Low market access. Definitely want to get that sorted. So... I am going to go ahead and just build up ports in those regions. In an attempt to fix that. Uh, we should push through their area pretty easily. I'll go ahead and do a trade agreement with you. That's fine. Um, yeah, we're still making pretty good money, so I can look to lower this a little bit. It's definitely going to fluctuate quite a bit, but that is fine. we got an election coming up. We have a new party formed, so that is going to ruin our government. We're going to need to come back for that later. Uh, yeah, we totally split our government at this point, so we'll see what happens. Go ahead and put the porcelain tax back in place. That is actually fine with me. A bureaucratic shortfall. That's probably from all of the... Um... From the change in our government because we were we went from being legitimate to very non-legitimate so i'm going to just wait i'm going to let we'll ride this out until we can get our um Yeah, we took Nejd, and we're going to use Nejd to... Well, first off, I'm going to incorporate it, and then we are going to build up oil rigs en masse. We're going to go with road maintenance for now. We will go for a greener grasses campaign. Yeah, those oil rigs will build up pretty quickly. We're probably going to want to we'll just keep this going. We don't want assembly lines though. I don't care about the Bonaparte's party, honestly. We need to change that and everywhere for this. Um, rotary valves, publicly traded, arcades, electric streetlights, public motor carriages, free churches. We'll do that in a little bit. But we need to make sure you're all good. Livestock ranches will fix. Okay, development. So this, 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 and then we're going to build as many of these as we can in Nejd as well. Ooh, 
We're gonna upgrade this to bicycle messengers too. All right, so we're gonna reform our government. Um, we're gonna go with the trade unions and the intelligentsia because that'll make it righteous, which will also fix our bureaucracy issues. I would like to go to a council republic, but I don't know if we're gonna get the leaders in place that we need to. I am going to come in here. I'm going to recruit an admiral. I don't even really care where he's at. We do want him to be an... Um, I need to be at peace and I can do this. Um, we do want him to have the explorer trait. So that he does qualify. We can send him on an Antarctic expedition. Colonial affairs have grown. That will help us finish getting the rest of this area colonized. Once all these are built, we'll be good. We're still barely using all of our uh, stuff there. Nejd is in turmoil. We got high stuff there. Insufficient cat taxation capacity. We can get that fixed up in a few places. We'll just build a couple more of these. Opium's expensive, oil and coal are expensive. There at this point really is not much we can do to solve that. I will build as much coal in as I can. Took care of that revolt. Conquer Travancor if we back them in the diplomatic play. Who are you in a diplomatic play against? The British. Puppet Dynam. Nah, I don't think so. That just seems like too much of a headache for me. We've got plastics. Now, plastics require oil, and we already have a shortage of oil, so... I actually don't think that'll do much for us. I will import as much as I can from the Confederacy since they have a good bit. Costa Rican proletariat revolt, huh? Well, we're going to send in a general. Um, can I start this while we're here? Yeah, let's do this. We will send... We'll send this guy going to be quite expensive, but we got it. Last of the monarchists. Uh, we just want the landowners to not have these traits anymore. We're going to work on our expedition. And Dreadnought Warfare and Plastic Production. So let's go ahead and upgrade it to Dreadnoughts. Oh, we don't have radios though. Never mind. We'll stay on monitors. working on telephone and radio right now. That'll be done in about two years. A lot of these are taking quite a while to build. Great ice barrier. Should we climb it or should we just make a detour around the fissures? We'll climb it. That sounds good. Yeah, 
And with our righteous government, we are in a nice spot. I can't do anything like that. Not really any laws that I want to change, honestly. We're pretty good everywhere. We're up to 70% literacy. I don't know if we're going to be able to get this last 20% in 26 years. But we should be close, at least, to doing it. Okay, we got all the oil rigs built in Nejd. Uh, we have high migration here, so hopefully we can get quite a few people over here. There's a Kasanje uprising. Yeah, that I honestly don't really care about. Uh, we will send you over here. Since we have finished off that uprising right there. Go ahead and survey the Suez Ismith. Um, since we're not building anything, we can go ahead and drop our consumption tax. And I'm going to go ahead and improve relations and bankroll these guys. Because once we get that taken care of, we can just buy it off of them. Let's go ahead and import as much of that as we can. Uh, we should move quickly, collect geological samples, or ascend the mountain. We'll just keep moving. There's not really much of a reason to risk that too much. And then we need to see what else we need to build. See, we're really behind on a lot of resources at this point. Can I... We still have a huge shortage of wine. We'll just queue up as much as we can, let that go. We're going to keep working on our relations with these guys here. Um, I will just go ahead and give out the porcelain tax. It'll keep us in the green. Uh, that has finally broken out. Keep pushing through there. Alright, we have pretty much gotten our borders together there. Um, hmm. It is impressive that art is so expensive and in such, such short supply considering we probably have like a million art um, spaces. Okay, so first things first, we can upgrade to destroyers, which means we can also convert all of our shipyards to steam shipyards. And they can go publicly traded finally. And then secondly... I'm just going to go ahead and mass build up telephone factories. I 
And then once those are built, we can start going for... Oh, we can upgrade our bureaucracy again. French colonization rights have been taken care of. So we're going to push into Cassange really quickly. And, you know, increasing our relations with Belgium is not a horrible idea, honestly. I can honestly go ahead and just decrease this all the way. Because we're not really going to be colonizing anything else. Hmm. <laughs> oh, Germany finally formed. We're going to improve our relations with Austria. Um, so yeah, we're just kind of waiting for this stuff to build up. And then we can, uh, we can do what we need to do. Can I enact free trade? It still won't let me. making plenty of money. We don't really have anything we are directly building. I should be able to do this now. Stop and study it or ignore it. Yeah, we'll try and study it. The Ivory Coast, we need ports up there. And in fact, oh, we can upgrade this as well. Gonna go ahead and just build ports everywhere so we have those all taken care of. We're still pushing through our technologies, we'll get radios soon. Budget wise, I could put these couple taxes in place, but it's not really gonna change much. So we'll just let it go. They should build fairly quickly, at least you would think. And we can start doing pretty much as much importing as humanly possible. And then maybe even do a little bit of exporting. Because we're what? 50,000 over this?
clothes were also over on. No one really wants them though. Or wait, did I do it? Did I hit the wrong thing? Yes, I did. Can export some of those to Austria and the Confederacy. Send some of those to the German market. Let's see, groceries were about 11,000 over. Nobody really wants those though. Furniture. We'll export a little bit of that too. Porcelain we can also export. Uh, dynamite. Send some of that out. Liquor. We'll do some exports there. Locomotives. We can send some of those out of the country. Tools, we've got plenty of that. Uh, paper. Export the little bit we can. We can export some dye. Alright, uh, sure, why not? Supporting the British workers. Yeah, sure. Sounds good. and put the service tax on there that'll slow down our loss of money for a little bit oh I thought I was doing this I must have clicked the wrong thing what I can do at least to kinda trick the system a little bit with this is where that we'll go to standardized filing systems which will let us complete this and then we can switch that right back to telephone switchboards French West Indies market access Radical party is formed. Who is in the radical party? The armed forces, huh? Yeah, the feminist being in charge of the trade unions is definitely causing us some issues. So we'll need to get that. And we haven't gotten any events for our expedition in a while. There we go, we got radios, so we'll go ahead and upgrade to Dreadnoughts, and we can go ahead and also start making radios. Which will put telephones at a little bit more of an expense, so we can go ahead and build up some more electronics industries. There we go. Literacy rate's still going up. Um, sure, you guys can join our customs union, that's fine. Uh, we don't want the church to get any more power. So we'll kind of try and pull as much of it away from them as we can. I'm afraid our literacy is not going to get up high enough to finish this again. Probably should have focused on literacy a little earlier. Man, Great Britain is about twice... 
points our strength. Colonial Affairs Institution continues to decrease, especially because we do not need it anymore. I'm going to wait till this election happens, and then I will probably end the video then. If I raise this a little bit, that'll get us in the green. Probably also... No, we're still a righteous government, so we're good there. I could probably even go a little higher and stay a righteous government. It's the practical thing to do. And, um... Haitian Uprising, huh? And we should be able to get them in our customs union fairly easily. Uh, pasteurization unlocked. Okay. And our election. Okay, so... Government is about as legitimate as it can possibly be. So, we're good there. And, uh, yeah, I think this is a good place to end the episode. So, if you liked the episode, I would appreciate a like. If you really liked it, I would appreciate a subscription. And I really hope to see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.